Hey everybody, this is Video Bob, and I got another cool product review for you. You know, when I do my product reviews, I don't waste time with a fancy intro and a bunch of music, and I'm, I'm not gonna waste your time unboxing it. I go through these unboxing videos, and you gotta go five, six minutes in while they open up the box. Who gives a shit, it's a box. All right, but here's the box. OmniCharge Pro. Now you've clicked on this, you already know what it is. You've searched for it, obviously. This is the box. Now I waited, I, I bought my deal on Indiegogo, I mean, like, many of you who waited. I, I think I've been waiting six months for this thing. And uh, here's how it's packaged. Very nicely done. Here's the, uh, now I got the OmniCharge Pro. We're gonna talk about the Pro right now. Comes with a charger. This is the charger. Little tongs pop out there and that's how you charge it up. Okay. And then you have uh, a USB to barrel pin. There's a the camera, there it is. And then you have uh, a little barrel pen adapter. Let me see, if it's kind of hard to get out of this box. I'm gonna try it out, okay. And then you have this little adapter here. Not exactly sure how that works. We'll look into that. Um, but the main, and then the extra thing that I ordered that came with mine is a MagSafe MacBook adapter, which plugs right into the little barrel pen deal and you plug that right into your laptop. Now, they use this same barrel pen, as they call it, for both the input and output. So that's important to realize. Uh, it's gonna take you three or four hours to charge it with this. It's gonna take you much longer to do it with the USB, about twice as long. Okay, now it does come with an actual paper manual, which is something that I like. It's it's kind of small, but, but at least it comes with that. Everything nowadays comes with just a PDF and then you don't know really how to work things. So uh, now I've already charged this up and you can see here's the uh, the little screen here. And I don't, unfortunately the camera isn't gonna focus in on that. Um, but what you have here is it shows you your current watt hours. So for instance, it's 100% charge. Uh, it has a temperature gauge. I think that's very cool. It says that it's 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And I guess it has, what, 73 hours of usable power, uh, 0.95 watts. I mean, I guess it just shows you what, what it's capable of. So it does have a little tiny fan there, a little tiny fan inside there. So you can expect it to make some kind of noise at some point. Now, the AC output, uh, according to their website, will run like a 32 inch TV for like three or four hours. I'm like, I'm not gonna be running my TV on this. I mean, I guess you could use it for emergency things, but here's some, uh, an example of something I thought of. I'm like, what would I plug into an AC outlet that I need to charge on the go? Let's say your shaver, right? Your shaver gets uncharged. This is something you have to plug in to the wall. Now, I can plug it into this thing. I can press this button that turns on the AC power that and it's charging and now I can charge up my deal so that's great it's it's plugged in so there's a perfect example of something that you could plug into this thing you can only plug a hundred watts uh, appliance into this so a hundred watts actually in today's world is a lot I mean you can hook up uh, like I said a TV or DVD player like if there was some sort of like crazy emergency and you had to have some electricity maybe to run a printer or, or whatever you could do it with this. I'm not sure for how long. Now this is the the larger manual. This has 20,400 milliamps. That's about what they put in those big car jump starters. Okay, and it probably would have been smart if they would have included the jump starter connector on this as well, and you could literally jump start your car. But uh, they mostly designed this for charging up your electronic devices. So you have these two USBs on here. And according to the website, it does some kind of new USB 3 uh, amp charging. And, and, oh, by the way, I wanted to mention, uh, according to their website, this plug you, with using an adapter, it will actually put out 230 uh, volts AC, 300 volts DC. Um, so it'll do Euro if you need it to. One of the things I was concerned about when I looked at it is that I'm like, well, how do you know you're not gonna overcharge something? It actually, 
has the ability to detect the thing you're plugging in and its power requirements and adjust itself. So they say. So I can't wait uh, to start using this thing more. I mean, it is kind of bulky, okay? But I could definitely see this being a great alternative, something to take with you, especially internationally. Throw this in your backpack, and they say that it'll run your laptop for like many, 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 many hours. But you can, using the barrel adapter, you can plug it into all sorts of stuff. I mean, there's so many things that use that. Like if you're a photographer, different chargers, plus using just the 110 outlet. And you can also charge it and charge through it at the same time. It also has wireless charging ability built right into the top of this thing. You can lay it down. If you have a wireless charging device like a phone case or phone, one of those, those new exploding Samsungs or whatever, you can lay it right on top and it'll charge right through the device. So uh, pretty amazing. If you haven't ordered one, if you already ordered one and you're waiting for it, here it is. This is what it looks like. I got mine uh, on January 24th, 2017. Uh, you know, it's interesting. Let me look on my, uh, I should have had this pre prepared, but I'll look on my Indiegogo and see when it was that I ordered this thing. Um, so it took, you know, I've got, I've ordered a lot of cool stuff off of Indiegogo and, uh, let's see my campaigns. Um, so I ordered this thing. Does it show? doesn't it's not showing me it doesn't give me that date well I've ordered a lot of cool stuff off of Indiegogo and I think I paid gosh darn did I pay 250 bucks for this thing or maybe that's the price of it now crazy so anyway well I just have too much expendable income very cool little toy here the Omni Charger um, Omni Charge Pro this one is the big mamma jamma the other one's a little bit smaller than this you definitely want the Pro I mean the difference in size is only this much if you're gonna be carrying the thing around you know this isn't a small one that you're gonna want to stick in your pocket or in your purse or something this is one of the bigger traveler ones that you're going to want to put in your bag with your laptop or with your other devices if you're a photographer or maybe um, whatever it is and you're out on the go that you would need some power this is definitely something to have so I wanted to show it off kind of a you know there, there's a kind of a rubberized kind of texture on it so it, it keeps it's you know make it sort of non-slip um, I like the the little OLED screen I wish you could see it better with the camera the screen is very cool I like that it has a temperature gauge on it because with all of the fear of uh, the lithium ion batteries exploding and catching on fire, it's great that you can monitor the, the temperature of this thing and it has a lot of automated shutdowns on it. I think that's the big difference between this and some of those other not smart batteries that are out there because they're just batteries with simple voltage um, you know, meters and this thing monitors the temperature and it also monitors the usage. So if you're overusing it, it'll shut it down. If it gets too hot, it'll shut it down. If you're overcharging it, it'll shut it down. It's got a lot of safety features. So I don't expect this one to explode and catch on fire, uh, but anything can happen. But that, I don't think that that's gonna happen. I like that it tells you exactly how much power you're using and exactly what's available. So I'm pretty impressed with the future of technology. This thing is really neat. It's cool that you have an actual 110 outlet that you can plug things into. Again, only 100 watts, but there's a lot of stuff you can run with 100 watts. Your average uh, home electronic appliance with the exception of a large, uh, like a, for instance, a, a receiver, you know, for speakers or something, but your average TiVo, DVD player, um, your VCR, your 8-track, your turntable, whatever. Uh, all those things will be running on pretty low wattage. I mean, a lot of TVs are running 30, 40 watts, and they said they can run like a 32-inch TV for like four to six hours, depending on the model. So there's a lot of cool things that you can plug into this that you wouldn't normally be able to. I mean, here's my iPhone 7. Just, let's plug it in and, and uh, see what happens. I'm going to turn on the USB. Oh, and there it is. And it's charging. 
Uh, and I don't know what that proves, but it's working. <laughs> and let's see, it'll tell me right there. So it's using five point, the wattage keeps changing from five point watts, six point whatever watts, it's showing me the temperature. Um, pretty cool. Wow. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is the OmniCharge Pro and uh, get yours from Indiegogo or from, I guess, directly from their website and let me know what you think in the comments. So please subscribe. We do lots of these. This one was kind of boring, but there just wasn't any information out there about this thing. And you can find out quite a bit from going to their website. I mean, it'll tell you all the basic technical specs, but I wanted to give just a quick uh, rundown of the thing. And you can go to their website and find out some of the, the detailed technical specs. But I'm pretty impressed with it. And I think this is something that I'm gonna have for a long time. You know, and I also think that this is one of those things that smaller isn't necessarily better. I mean, you, the technology isn't going to change that much. Maybe in the next 10 years we'll have smaller and lighter batteries that are even smaller than this. But this isn't about being necessarily smaller and lighter. It's about having a ton, a shitload of power in your hands. There's a lot of power. I mean, there's enough power in this thing that it would kill you instantly if you were to, you know, stick your tongue right into this socket. Don't do that. Um, I mean, this thing has 110 voltage output as well as, I mean, I'm pretty impressed with this thing. Wow. I mean, can you imagine what Edison or Tesla would think if they, their heads would explode if they saw something like this? So on Video Bob, please subscribe uh, and check out my other videos. And thanks for watching. Catch you later. This is the OmniCharge Pro.